So six plays the four. Drew, do you have anything? Oh, yeah, you won't be able to tell me yet. No. Oh. But it's not re retaliate. So you punch it again. I'm going to try and punch it again. But I'm just going to, have to do it on my four, on my five versus its four. No. <laughs> I'm going to try that again, my five versus its four. Oh, I, did, I did shuffle it. Well, sometimes <sighs> it just turns out that way. It does, yes. Drew, your turn. Please help me kill this thing. Okay. Rex. Take him. Duke, get him. So that's four plus four. Do you want to? Have you got anything you can play Dude, to it? Can't get him. Sorry. Have you got anything you can play to it? Because he's four and you're four. No. That's not going to do it. Sure. That is a minus one. Oh no! Wait. No, it's a minus one. He hasn't that's got ten minus yet. Minus one. So you can so you can ready Duke again, but you'd have to um, discard a card. Did anyone just yeah. see the uh, the agenda, the um, act card just go into just disappear into the chaos bag then? <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh! This bloody Yithian observer. Right. Your third action. You can still get away because it's not attacking you; it's attacking me. Can I just guard again? You can only do it once. Once per turn. Oh, you could still get away. But you don't want to, you don't want to get away because if you do that puts you right in the path of the monster. No, it doesn't. He's oh, he's had to he'd have to move to the quad. Oh, he can't move to the quad, can he? Or can he from there? He can, but he he can move to the quad from there, yes, and he's not engaged with it, yeah. the monster. I take it the skull is not good. Minus one. If you fail to scar the discard the top three cards of your deck. We are discard top three cards of your deck. <laughs> That's what the skull does. Please tell me you've got more than three cards in there. You've got 21. Three. But that takes him past the 10. Yeah, but the other that the other thing doesn't count now. I know, but... Next time it might. We are going to draw it again, no doubt. <laughs> That's the end of our turn. Um, okay. <coughs> Enemy phase. This guy is going to take a swingy at me. But I'm going to put the damage on my beat cop. My beat cop is going to bravely suck, put himself in the line of fire. So that's one damage and one horror. He dives in front of the Yithian Observer. So the Yithian Observer is still there. I think it's ready up time now. And draw him and resource him. I didn't want to do that. I just shuffled my deck. I didn't mean to do that. Never mind. And this guy needs to draw. I really need to spend some resources. And we're saying he's not taking a resource because we messed that bit up at the start. I get nine resources. Right. Jeff. Hello. I really need to spend some resources. There's no limit to the number of resources you can have. I don't have any more spaces for them. Grab the bags at the top. The bags at the top. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Start spending stuff then. Um, I don't have anything to spend it on. Right. You've got no cards. Well, I don't have any at the moment that I can actually spend points for. Oh, no. Um, okay. Are we ready for the next turn? Not sure. really, but... Doom. Give it a good old college try. <coughs> I found a thrall. Go on, em. you can take that guy, I'm sure. Drew. Yeah. What are you getting? Oh, yeah, encounter. Encounter, yeah. I was like thinking of what am I doing for my turn. <coughs> Ancient, Ancient evil. Oh boy. 
Ah, oh, shit. That moves him down one. I, uh, I really need to go get a drink. I'll be right back. And we were doing that. I shall draw mine out. Light of Aphorgamon. Treat all damage as direct damage and all horror as direct horror. Ah, that's not what we want. Gonna have to go there. And Rex gets... Eager for death. Test willpower 2. Increases skill power by 1 for each damage on you. He's got no damage, so it's just a straight 2 willpower. And he's on 3. Right, let's just do it. Minus two. That's one. Fails. And he takes two, two horror. horror. He's still okay. And it's direct horror. Yeah. Well, he's got nothing that can absorb it. Oh, he's got that guy there. Okay. Well, that could have gone better. Yeah. Yeah. That went well. That went well. We're running out of time. You guys can... I think you've got enough clues here. You need We've to got get enough clues at the location. We just need to get them all. Yes. Uh, so Rex, do you want to go first? Rex is going to have to go first. Because I'm going to have to punch this thing that's attacking me first. Have you got? Are you able to kill it straight up? Uh, I could do with it being damaged one. But this guy needs. To get, if we can get six clues right, out of this, Rex can get so many clues. So. I think he's more used to doing that, and I'll just have to try and... He hasn't got any resources, so he's going to have to just try and do it. So that's four. I'm going to play... What's this? Is this a punchy? I'm going to do it straight up, so that's four plays his three. Have you got any book cards you want to give up for this, actually? That might be useful. Uh, I can. Uh, hold on. Let me just try and put that taunt away, because I think that taunt should have gone in there. So that's one. That's five versus one. That'll do it. So he gets two for that. That's two. What just happened there? Please tell me there's two there. There we go. It's, oh, no, it's, don't separate from it. There we go. He's going to do the same thing again. This time throw one of his own in. For once, so that's five plays the one. Okay. Minus one, that'll do. I'm so glad we decided to do this four player and not three player. <laughs> and... The last one is going to do the same thing again with that. So I'll discard that. So he has got five plays four. Shuffle. Very well. <laughs> one. Two. So he just got six. He just got ten clues. So we just need two more clues, and then we've and then we we have defeated this thing. Right, John, would you like to address your thrall, please? I would, but also I can just try to run away from it. Do you want to try and evade it? If I try to run away from it, it disengages, and then I can just do two investigates. Yep. And then we win. We do I'm indeed. Do that. Yeah, you're going to disengage from it. I'm going to do that. You're going to disengage from it. I'm going to try and disengage, so that's three versus it's two. Uh, uh, hold on, before you do that, I think um, Rex may be able to help you there. Well, I'll throw in this teamwork, which has a question mark on it. Manual dexterity for plus two. Nice, so that's uh, seven. Seven versus it's two. That, that sounds good odds to me. That'll do. Minus one. So I evade the thrall, and he goes back very confused into the dormitories. Yes. Where did they go? And for your next trick, 
for my next trick, I'm going to investigate. I don't have anything to help me with this, but if... Rex doesn't have anything to help you with, I'm afraid. Dang. Uh, so it's just three versus one. Nice! Uh, so, let me just clarify. <laughs> my star power, uh, plus one for each resource I have. Yes! Jeff, how <laughs> many resources do I have? I think you have 13. Uh, I, I have three times five. That's 15. Uh, so, let's see, is that 15 plus three, three that I have? Uh, that's 18. Yes. It's 18 more than one. I think so. It's just about. Do I get a clue? Are you back, Drew? Oh, yeah, I've been back for a while. Yeah. Guys have been talking, Go on then. And your final action, which could win us the game. Uh, so that's a plus one, so four plus one. Not as impressive, but I get another clue. And we have, what does it say? Investigators in the dormitories spend three clues as a group. Well, I've got two. And this guy's got. Ten. I've got. I I can't contribute. You can't contribute. You're not in the dormitory, so that's ten. And you're you can't two. Contribute. You don't have clues, and you're not in the dormitories. All right. Look. Okay. I was just trying to join in. Okay. So it, what is it is? It's nice that you attempted to help. You did lots of clue investigating earlier. Right. Resolution two. Resolution two. You pull each of the dormitory's fire alarms and usher the students out of the building's north exit, hoping to make your way off campus. Many of the students are confused and exhausted because it's the middle of the night, obviously. Have you ever had a fire alarm at two in the morning? It's not nice. Yeah, it's not nice. But you believe I an attempt... If you be but you believe an attempt to explain the situation will do more harm than good. Minutes later, a terrible screech echoes across the campus, piercing and shrill. You tell the students to wait and head back to the dormitories to investigate. Oddly, you find no trace of the strange creature, a prospect that worries you more than it relieves you. You hurry to the faculty offices to find Professor Rice, but there is no sign of him anywhere. Well, poop. So, let me just make a note in our campaign log of the following. In your campaign log, record that Professor Rice was kidnapped. Where is my campaign log? There we go. Professor Rice was kidnapped. In your campaign log, record that the students were rescued. Yay! We're heroes. Each investigator gains victory experience equals to victory X of the cards in the display. So that's two one cards. For that. so that's um, one for that. So that's two. We would have got we would have got more, but um, yeah. And what was the last thing to record? And otherwise, proceed to interlude one, Armitage's fate. Right. <coughs> we weren't unconscious for several hours. That didn't happen. So, Armitage's fate. When you arrive at Dr. Armitage's home in Southside, you find him sitting at his desk, pale face and sweating with worry. He is grateful to you for searching for his colleague, but he doesn't look relieved. With a long pause, he straightens his glasses and explains. I'm afraid I must apologise. There's something I didn't mention to you earlier. Dr. Armitage then spins a tale you would scarcely believe had it not been for your harrowing experiences early that night. In your campaign log, record that the investigators rescued Dr. Armitage. Any one investigator may choose to add Dr. Henry Armitage to his or her deck. And Dr. Henry Armitage is up here. Proceed to the next. The story continues in scenario two, the Miskatonic Museum. Let me just write this down. Why didn't you tell me? Maybe she did tell you. I swear I did not. Do Dr. Armitage. So, next time on Arkham Horror. Dot dot dot. Don't update. Yes, next time on Arkham Horror. The Miskatonic Who Henry Armitage. He's what is he draw cards, isn't he? After you draw a card, you can discard that card and exhaust him, and you gain three resources. Difficult one. I can have him if you want. I can have him. Yeah, I mean, I 
I get a load of resources anyway. Yeah. Unless Drew, do you want? Do you have any need for resources? No, I'm. I'm. I feel good. Okay, I'll take him. Next time on Arkham Horror, the Miskatonic Museum. Several months ago, Armitage and his colleagues stopped a rampaging horror from tearing through Dunwich, a backwater town several hours north and west of Arkham. At first, you imagine this beast as a rabid bear, or worse. A rampaging horror. I recognise that. Yeah. But the professor's description of the creature points a, paints a different picture. It all began when a man named Wilbur Waitley entered the Orne Library looking for Oleus Wormius's Latin translation of a book called the Necronomicon. Ah, oh, shit. Wilbur already possessed a beaten-up English version by Dr. John Dee, but it was insufficient for his purposes. Armitage turned the man away, fearing what use the strange man had for the book. Waitley returned in secret, hoping to steal the book, but was attacked by a hound guarding the university. Armitage, Rice and Morgan later discovered Waitley's body. A description of the foul corpse, semi-anthropomorphic and covered in fur with a leathery hide and greenish-grey tentacles, causes you to question whether or not Waitley was truly human. My colleagues and I were quick to put the ordeal behind us, Armitage says with a sigh. But it seems that things haven't fully resolved themselves. I will tell you the rest later, but for now, it is imperative that we get on our hands on that copy of the Necronomicon. If my instincts are correct, the assailants you have encountered will be searching for it. After all that transpired, I didn't feel safe keeping it at the library, so I brought it to my good friend, Howard Wallstead. He is the current curator of the Miskatonic Museum. I thought it would be safe in the museum's restricted hall, but now I'm not so sure. You must retrieve it at all costs. I fear terribly what they could do with the rights contained in its pages. Dot, dot, dot. To the museum. To the museum, and that is what we will be doing next time. Doodly, 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 do. Yep. So I think we're going to finish there for the evening. That's a good place to stop, I think. So thank you all very much for watching. As always, do please drop a follow to my Twitch channel. Drop a follow to John FBF on Twitch. Follow us on YouTube. Like, subscribe, all the buttons as usual. We will and see you I'll next be back. time. I will be back this Sunday when I'll oh, be playing New D and D of Annihilation. I'll be running some new players through the jungles of Chult. As nice. uh, last time, they found their way to Camp Righteous. Uh, no, Camp Vengeance. They found their way to Camp Righteous. Ah. Decided to run away from it, and have found their way to Camp Vengeance, which is the next camp up. Uh, where they have agreed to guide some uh, warriors through the jungle. Ooh. What could possibly go wrong, he asked, knowing full well. <laughs> yes, indeed. Knowing full well that he is the GM and can control the world. Yeah. Nothing can go wrong because he's a nice GM. <laughs> no, absolutely nothing can go wrong because he's a nice GM. Shut up, you're a nice GM. <laughs> Actually, I need to remember one of those games recently. I need to remember which day of the. I should check where they are in the calendar. Yeah. But for now, guys, good night. Good night. <laughs>